Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Laplace transform of the sine integral. Laplace transform of the sine integral. The sine integral is usually denoted as si of t is equal to by definition integral 0 to t sine of u divided by u du. So this is the definition of sine integral. Now we want to find the Laplace transform of this function. That is we want to find Laplace transform of si of t. Let us denote f of t as the sine integral si of t that implies f dash of t is equal to sine t by t. Therefore, because the derivative of this, this function is clearly equal to sine t by t. Therefore, by simply multiplying with t on both sides of this equation, we have t times f dash of t is equal to sine of t. Now, by taking Laplace transform on both sides, we have Laplace transform of t times f dash of t is equal to Laplace transform of sine of t. Now, by using the formula for Laplace transform of t times a function, we have minus derivative with respect to s of the Laplace transform of f dash of t. On the right hand side, we have 1 by s square plus 1 because Laplace transform of sine t is 1 by s square plus 1. And now by using the formula for Laplace transform of a derivative, we have minus d by ds of s times f of s minus f of 0. That is Laplace transform of a time derivative of f of t is s times f of s where f of s is the Laplace transform of f of t minus the initial value of the function and the derivative with respect to s of this function or this difference is equal to 1 by s square plus 1. Since the derivative of f of 0 with respect to s is 0, we can ignore the second term. So we have minus d s of f of s, s times f of s minus d s times f of s equal to d s by s square plus 1. Now this differential equation can be written as d of s of s times f of s that is differential of the product s times f of s is equal to minus 1 by s square plus 1 ds. Now by integrating on both sides we have s times f of s is equal to minus integral 1 by s square plus 1 ds. By using the transformation, the variable transformation s equal to tan theta, this integral becomes integral 1 by 1 plus tan square theta, which is secant square theta, and ds is equal to secant square theta d theta. So we have secant square theta d theta, and we have a minus here. Clearly, this is equal to, and secant square theta will cancel with the secant square theta in the denominator and we are left with theta. So this is equal to minus theta plus a constant k. Therefore, s times f of s is equal to k minus theta and theta is equal to tan inverse of s. So we have k minus tan inverse s. Now we have to find the value of the constant k by using the initial value theorem that is limit as s tends to infinity s times f of s is equal to k minus limit as s tends to infinity tan inverse of s and clearly the limit of tan inverse of s is pi by 2 so this is equal to k minus pi by 2. Next the limit on the left hand side is equal to limit as t tends to 0 f of t and by the definition of the sine integral this is equal to limit t tends to 0 integral 0 to t sine u by u du. 
clearly in the limit this integral should be equal to 0 because in the limit the both the limits of the integral are 0 and so the limit is 0 therefore k minus pi by 2 is equal to 0 which means k is equal to pi by 2 therefore s times f of s is equal to is equal to pi by 2 minus tan inverse of s therefore f of s is equal to 1 by s into and pi by 2 minus tan inverse of s can be written as tan inverse of 1 by s. Therefore, the Laplace transform of the sine integral is 1 by s into tan inverse of 1 by s. Thanks for watching.